Oh, okay, there it is. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome to Coffee Craft. Normally, today would be a uh, Games Revisited, and we'd be continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Gaia. But for a... a... Why is there a missing block? All right, sorry, distract. Uh, that that's actually that uh, that's actually part of why we're doing coffee craft today instead of the normal games revisited. Because um, I got to tell you, I am exhausted. I woke up tired. I had a very long day at work, and I know that I would not be able to do the kind of job that I really need to do for. Uh, to, to make Games Revisited happen and happen well. So, instead of putting forth six episodes of mediocre to worse uh, <laughs> Games Revisited, I decided to hop on the Coffee Craft server and just uh, go, go, go at the build a little bit more. Um, definitely, definitely going to stick to a, a more casual pace. Uh, I got a couple things that I really do want to do before we get before I start building, uh, like repair that pickaxe. It's looking a little sad. And just kind of top off the XP on some of the other stuff. So uh, while I am thinking about it, let me go ahead and just uh, take these off right here, drop them in storage there, keep those handy in case I need them, and. Uh, Let's go, let's go repair some stuff. Um, believe it or not, we have uh, we've got a guardian farm. We've got a spider farm. We've got a sort of enderman farm. And you know what we end up using most for uh, gathering XP and repairing stuff? These guys. We, oh, doggone it. Uh, fine, I won't have that in my offhand. Um, coming in here and just grabbing a fistful of pumpkins and a few pumpkins more. Sorry, couldn't help that one. Uh, <laughs> and uh, we, uh, trading with these guys ends up yielding a lot easier XP. I don't know if it is more XP, but it is most definitely easier. Um, that didn't save space. Okay, fine. Um, so let me gather up some melons and pumpkins. I probably should have done the pumpkin, the melon thing before I did all the uh, pumpkins, but that's uh, yeah. So that, that's where my head's at today. Because I'm sitting here filling up my inventory and then wondering why I can't craft more than a handful of uh, pumpkins at a, or pumpkins, melons at a time. Oy. My sincerest apologies from the outset. Um. All right. So let me let me just get a few more melons now. That, Fortunately, unfortunately, I'm not entirely sure which. The, uh, the melons don't... You don't go through the melons as quick because uh, it doesn't take m as many melons to max out their trades. So... I, I won't stock up on as many of them as I do the pumpkins anyway. You know, we'll call that enough for the moment because I, I just need enough to repair my, my stuff. My stuffs. Well, let's do this. Yes, I have enchanted flint and steel. Yes, I absolutely do keep it uh, topped off XP-wise. Oh, yeah. Come on. See, that, that's what I mean about the uh, those guys being almost worthless. All right. And we'll saddle on up to the next one. And away we go. Now, this general concept having a mass of similar guys is exactly what I am trying to do with the um, with the church that we're working on 
So the idea being that you'll be able to come through and go into each of the confessionals and trade with a cleric, move to the next one, trade with a cleric, move to the next one. And in that way, um, I have, never mind, I'm not going to ask. Uh, let's get the easy ones out of the way first. So that way you can just run through and do that. Now we've got more than a dozen of these villagers. Um, but on the other hand, we spend more of our time trading, uh, giving them stuff than getting stuff from them. And I think with the um, clerics, it's going to end up being the other way around. We're going to end up trying to get more stuff out of the clerics than we're going to be giving to them. And since Moyang was trying to curb abuses, um, and abuse is actually a harsher word. Uh, I, I don't, I don't quite know how to phrase this. I, I understand what they were trying to do. I understand that they were, they were trying to set it up so that way you didn't get a small haul like the one we have and just allow you to go completely ham with the villagers and get everything you could ever possibly want. Sorry, I just realized it was nighttime. And staying out here at nighttime is probably not the best idea. Nope, 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 nope. I went to bed. Um, so I, I kind of understand that a small haul like this isn't supposed to produce massive, massive tons of stuff. You know, you shouldn't you shouldn't be able to build a quartz monument in a day with uh, these two stonemasons. On the other hand, I think they went a little bit too far in the other direction in trying to. Uh... Sorry, You're hearing myself go. How are you doing? Back to back to back is moderately entertaining um, so uh, I, I think they went a little too far the other way in limiting them to two trades and maybe a little more if you're lucky that that seems slightly counterproductive like I I get what you're trying to do you're, you're trying to set it up so that way you're not farming massive massive emerald yeah, you're not building the Emerald City from the Wizard of Oz in Emeralds uh, based off of your mini trading hall. On the other hand, it really could have been done a little bit better. And I, I forgot, I was here to craft melons first. kind of hate that that's all you get out of the melon farms are melon slices. It would be kind of nice to, to get to have some way of harvesting raw melons, like just the melons. Uh, okay, that is where I put the blocks. Matter of fact, let's do that. Let, let's go ahead and get these blocks uh, tucked away because I'm still going to be giving them melons and pumpkins. That's a yes. And everything else. Yeah, okay. It's just these last two tools, and then I'll uh, I'll be ready to start back in on the project. Hello. Alright. You, uh, nope. You're not ready to trade. That's okay. I got the other one. So yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then another eight. So we got about 16 of these guys between the two buildings. Uh, and we're going to have only a dozen of the uh, clerics. Only a dozen. Uh, what's really going to be not fun is... Uh, trying to get those uh, dozen clerics leveled up to where they can trade. We're going to move the one guy that we already have over. Which 
which I'm not exactly looking for. The the temporary trading hall that has taken on some sort of uh, permanent place in our hearts and minds and uh, location. Right, just got the pickaxe left. It, it has a... Uh, no? Oh, good. Let's, uh, let's just finish this off with pumpkins, since I don't feel like crafting up more melons. Uh, oh, you... Ah! Uh, yeah, we got a couple of those guys that don't trade both, and I think we need to, like, mark them, or, uh, <laughs> fi find a suitable replacement. <laughs> I am sorry, your services are no longer required. If you'll see... <laughs> If you'll please see the CEO Hatchet, he'll, uh, he'll make sure that you're well taken care of in your exit. He would... <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now I'm just getting silly. Alright, that'll be good enough for now. Let's uh, block up as much of the rest as we can. Drop that in there. Grab these out of here. Now that quartz for some reason. I'm trying to remember what for. the fortune axe on me so the silk touch was in storage silk touch was in storage and I have my sword in storage um, I'm trying to keep the inventory space as open as I can for working on this stuff oh I almost forgot it's a brand new day I can get some more lapis out of our one lone cleric. I'm doing that because Ray asked. Um, she is working on a project where she needs tons of blue dye. Why does she need blue dye? I don't know. I, I, I stopped asking questions like that a while ago. That just seemed... Uh, I, know, I, I want more of the lapis. You want to give me more of the lapis? Forgot that he did that. That's kind of creepy. Okay, that, that's more than kind of creepy. There we go. Now we at least get our second round out of that guy. And uh, let's let's put those in there. Kind of breaks my heart to do this, but we're gonna crush that into blue dye. I mean, I don't know why it bothers me, too. Uh, probably because prior to it being a village, villager trade, it was so hard to come by lapis. I mean, it was, it was incredibly hard to come by lapis. So if you didn't find it mining, you just weren't getting any lapis. And, and that, that mindset has kind of stuck with me all this time. Does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. All right. So... When oh let me uh, toss my enchanted flint and steel back in there, and I was gonna put that back in there and that back in there, and that can stay in there for now. Matter of fact, I don't like leaving my backpack out. Drop that in there. I normally keep that on me. Um, I did need yep ender pearls and everything else I can leave in there for the moment. So, when last we left, just this past Tuesday, we installed the spruce pews, we got some lighting under the carpets. I still need to come back here and do a lighting check at some point, because I got a bad feeling that this spot here in between the pews, that's going to, that's not going to, that's not going to be enough. I almost, yeah, I really like the bone block floor, I love the texture, uh, but I'm actually half tempted to... Uh, to go grab some half slabs of some sort and have the block oh, that's not what I wanted to do but I did but that's not what I wanted to do I don't know what I wanted to do um okay I must have been asleep at the wheel on that one <laughs> Okay, um, 
But what I what I what I'm almost tempted to do is have that block carpet block all the way to the same on the other side and sink this down and put it on some sort of floor made out of half slabs. That way when you get here and you have whatever's gonna you know, the the raised stage over here, it will end up being um It'll end up being raised up a little bit more uh, by by maybe a, a half slab. So we'll have that down. We'll have maybe stairs, stairs, and then a half slab up here. Uh, that'll do two things. That'll lower that the seating down a little bit. It uh, okay? Three things. It'll lower the seating down a little bit, giving um, this area a little more depth. It'll decrease the need for lighting because this stuff will be sitting as a half slab, which will be non-spawnable. The, the pews will be sitting at the same height, but I, I don't I don't mind that. They can actually sit. Um, I can either put them on a couple of scaffolding to make it look like they're, they're actual benches on pews. Um, which actually, that's not a bad idea. I kind of like that idea. Uh, that way I get the four legs on either corner. Yeah, I, uh, although the texture, the, the, the color of the scaffolding is not going to quite fit with the color of the spruce, but may, well, we'll try it out anyway. Uh, but I, I'm rambling. Hence why we're not doing games revisited today. Uh, so, yeah, I just might I just might drop that down and do some sort of design, but... I want to keep with the white theme. Um, I just don't know that there's not a whole lot of white blocks that have a half slab. And I mean, I could always do, I could drop down a full block and use white carpet. I could leave it where it's at and use white carpet for that matter. Uh, you lose the design that's in the bone block floor, which I don't like. Um, yeah, so... Hmm. Don't have this entire ring even back to this part of the carpet. Drop that down. Block. No, half slab. Definitely a half slab. Um, and then I just got to worry about lighting the outer ring, which doing some sort of fence design maybe with the end rods. Uh, I do still have some sea lanterns hidden under the carpet, so that might be enough to keep things safe-ish. And then maybe run this carpet back a, a little bit further. Yeah, let me, let me try that. Let me grab, let me grab some more carpet. And let's try running that carpet all the way around the outside. Uh, how much red carpet we got left? Ah, we can uh, we can make some more. It's not like we're short. Well, <laughs> uh, don't 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 let me forget to uh, don't let me forget to check on that. Because I want to make sure that that's all working the way it should as well. All right, so we got the one, two, three. So we go one, two, three. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'll pull it. Yeah, because I'm not going to do a fence around the back. Um, that will just be along the sides. So what if we do it like this? Oh. Except we put the carpet where we want it. Bloody oath. Alright, I'm liking that a little bit better. I'll need some more red carpet to pull it off. And then sink it down here. Um... So what blocks have a half slab? We got quartz blocks that have a half slab. Uh, we got diorite that has a half slab. Probably do a mix of that. 
Um, and that's an idea. That's an idea. Although I wouldn't be able to do the carpet. And I'd have to remove the sea lanterns that are turned there. Which means definitely making sure I remember to grab my silk touch pickaxe. Um, but that's an idea that has promise. Get rid of it. Get rid of the carpet here. Use granite slabs where the carpet is. And then quartz slabs where the bones would be. And then rough it up with a little bit of diorite slabbage. Um, I just don't know if it would be better to do the polished diorite or maybe do a design maybe do a design with the polished diorite and the um, regular diorite. Alright, let, let, let's 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 give that a shot. I mean push comes to shove, we just put it all back the way it was. And I've wasted a day. That, that, that wouldn't necessarily be the end of the world. All right, focus, focus, focus. Um, more kicks. Let me grab some granite slabs anyway. Um, oh, I guess we had some already made. Uh, and let me grab some polished granite slabs. Let me grab... Some polished diorite. Actually, you know what? Let me just grab them. All that diorite I put back in there. Let me grab a mess of that. Let me grab a little bit more of that. And... Let's do up... A bunch of polished slabs. A bunch of regular slabs. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I, I need... Uh, I count. Uh, I'll put those back in uh, regular form. All right, let's uh, grab some more polished slabs and some rough slabs. I'll keep those guys handy and we'll do that back up like that. And I'll keep the regular granite and diorite ready. Um, I should probably grab a stone cutter and just leave it out there while I'm while I'm at it. Yeah, I think I got some in my backpack. Let me let me go get a stone cutter out of my backpack. Hmm. All right. My bag of holding. Yes, I do. Keep some spare crafting stations. Um. Oh wait, no. I am gonna need. Uh, I'm gonna need a few things out of that. Let's just put that up there for the moment. Let's get that right there, because I'm going to need my Silk Touch pick. And let me go ahead and do that right now, because I'm probably not going to need that at the moment. Um, I'll put that away for the moment, too, because I don't... I think I'm done with that. Until I go to dig into the... Uh, mountain again. Yeah. Oh, quartz. Actually, let me go grab uh, all these emeralds. You know what they're about to go to? Quartz. Remind me, every morning. Quartz. Shop for quartz. Shop for quartz. For quartz. Of quartz, of quartz. I've been going through a lot of quartz here lately, too, and getting a mess load of, of uh, masons is also on my list. So these guys we're going to expand out and put over in the church. Um, these guys we're going to expand out and put in the church. The question is, what are we going to fill all those empty spaces with? And I'm half tempted to say, let's move those two over there 
and fill the rest of the row with more stonemasons because we do end up using a lot of stonemasons. And then figure out what we want out of those three slots right there. Um, we could definitely make use of a shepherd. Of course, here I am yakking and I really need to be uh, not standing on the thing, but buying quartz. And not the quartz pillars. I, I really thought that you could go with the quartz pillars and um, cut them down onto something else on the stone cutter. I was wrong. You ready to do, you ready to do some more? No? Not yet? What time is it? Hey, Bob. You're in between me and the clock. Uh, it's after work hours. Well, okay then. Let's go, uh, let's go back to the work site. Because they're not going to replenish until later in the morning anyway. And I actually wouldn't mind putting together a one of the rigged daylight sensors that you see people putting together. Where you compare the signal strength of the daylight to the signal strength of something else. And, and that gives you a little lamp when uh, they're ready to trade. I, just, I don't know what I would do with that. I almost want to set it up, tie it up to a beacon. Like, maybe bury, bury a beacon somewhere over in this part of town. Um, and then have the redstone set up to swap out a, a glass block. So that way you got maybe a... Um, so you got maybe a beam of one color when, it's re when they're ready to trade and a beam of a different color when they're not. That actually sounds really good. I like that idea. You know what? Let's go ahead and while we're at it... Um, no, no, I am all set on granite. It's the diorite that I want to go ahead and get a few more regular slabs. And a few more polished slabs. And then we'll drop the rest of the granite in here. The nighttime yet? No, it's not nighttime yet. So let's go ahead. Um, I want the floor to drop here. All right, so we'll start picking up some of these bone blocks while we're waiting. The nighttime yet? <laughs> Man, that was a pain to put in too. Like I said, we, we could end up changing all this by the time everything's done, so no 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 promises made. Alright. But let's try let's try sinking that down just a little bit. Um I kind of hate that I spent all that time putting all those bone blocks down, putting them down in the precise design configuration and all that. And then we'll say two blocks in front of the, yeah, two blocks in front of the front pew. Um, that'll work. All right. Ooh. Do I want to leave the carpet in place anyway? Uh, not on the sides, but down the middle. So you got the raised carpet. You go down a half step to the floor here, and then you go up a step or a half step up here. That's an idea. That's an idea that has promise too. Let me uh, let me at least take up this stuff here. And I like some of the designs that Reyes did over there. Um, I don't like the striped banner or even the uh, gradient banners. But I like having the banner attached to the armor stand. And then I need to get the book and see if I can move the armor stand down a little bit. And if the banner will go with it. And then set the armor stand to invisible. <gasps> oh, armor stands. Oh yeah, armor stands. Uh, I've got to do... I've got to build a little armor stand shrine over here somehow. 
Um, all right. One step at a time. One step at a time. One step at a time. Yikes. Uh, I am all over the place today. I am so sorry. I am so sorry for anybody trying to make sense of anything I am doing right now. All right. Let's, uh, let's get this up. This is going to be a while. Oh. Did I mention that? Or was it one of those things I was going to mention before I got distracted? I do still like the nether brick wall. Sorry, the red nether brick wall. Because, of course, it would have to be the red nether brick wall. That's the expensive one. Yeah, it can't be the cheap one. Oh, relatively cheap. Uh, man, so, some of the nether brick stuff, for, for what it is, I mean, you're, you're just harvesting mass tons of the nether and then baking it. It's already hard enough to get because you have to take that extra step and bake it. Why why is it why is it that much harder? Did we go all the way down here? Yeah, I think we did go down here. Of course if we did it like that, that would mean that we might want to keep the blocks that are here in the in these three. So we want that and that and that. No, we wouldn't. Unless something got messed up. Although we're going to put a carpet over it. It doesn't even matter. Yeah, because we're just going to do that right there. So it doesn't really matter, except we got those dark spots over there, so I might turn some of these around. Uh, oh... No, you're, you're going to see the, uh, the dark spots on that side anyway. Hmm. Let me think on that. Let me think on that. Yeah. Leave the middle carpet there for the moment. get at it. No, no, I'm, I'm going back to my other, no, 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 no. We'll, uh, we'll do the granite instead of the carpet. So it'll be a three wide granite slab. Matter of fact, I'll put that in as soon as I go back, back through. I'm still going to want some lighting in here, though. I'm still really going to want some lighting. Uh, I won't need the lighting because the half slabs will keep it from being spawnable, but I, I'm going to want to sink some lighting in here somewhere. Where can I put it, though? Because um, if I put it under a trap door, uh, maybe I could put it under the benches? Just have nothing but glow. <laughs> have nothing but sea lanterns sitting under the benches. Uh, that seems that seems a bit much too. Uh, I don't need that handy. I might actually be okay on quartz too. So let's try straight up polished granite first, and then maybe we'll experiment with some designs that use the polished and straight granite. Um. We could definitely just do the, the checkered design like we got over there. That is a perennial favorite and easy to implement. But because I've used it so much, I'm not sure. I'm not sure that's what I want to do. Uh, but I, I de yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely don't want um, straight polished slabs all the way through. Not, not digging the straight slabs all the way through. Uh, hmm. Sorry, trying to see if uh, anybody was going to pop some inspiration into the chat or something. Uh, 
I like I like the idea of moving this from the bone blocks down to a half slab. I'll rip out the rest of that. I just I don't like the solid polished granite. Or maybe it's just I don't like it in the context of the bone blocks around it. Yeah, let, let, let's work out the design for everything else first, and that might actually give us a hint, like, if we can come up with a nice repeating design for everything else, it might be one of those things that we just continue um, through. So in other words, we get a good, we get a good pattern of polished and unpolished, or um, quartz and not quartz, and then we just continue that through. So the pattern stays the same, but instead of quartz or polished diorite, we end up with polished granite. And instead of unpolished diorite or uh, diorite, instead of quartz, we, we end up with the unpolished granite and uh, just keep the pattern the same that way all the way through. Although that's only gonna work if, um, that's only going to work well if the pattern is three wide and we start building it from the inside out. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to build that from the inside out. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, no. Our villagers don't do that. Seems a little wrong just sitting here and go, How you doing? How you doing? All right, and I, I really wasn't planning on working on the floor. I was planning on working on the walls and get the walls and the windows set up. Um, but I just got kind of hung up on the whole lighting thing and trying to get lighting here in the middle of the pews. And, and that, yeah, that's uh, yeah. We we got to get the we got to get this a little better spawn proof. Definitely got to get this a little more spawn proof. Hmm. Alright, so. Nighttime is coming. Yeah, I won't worry about going out for another round of quartz because, uh, well, ooh, if I do you end up using that as a primary building slab. I might need a lot more, although no matter what, I'll probably still need some more for the temple project because um, I was using a lot of quartz in the floors and walls there. So you know what? It, it might just be better to stock up on that. Like, really, really stock up on that. Ooh, I'll need to know what to put under. If, if I'm going to try to put... Um, scaffolding to make the benches feel like they're they're actually sitting on something I'll need something else on the floor because I'm not going to be able to put the scaffolding down without it actually recessed in the ground if I do the slabs at that level if I drop the slabs down a little bit more we're not that much better than we were before uh, I could also go with a glass floor in other words uh, drop Drop the bone down two blocks, just like we did with the temple where we got the glass floor across the design. Um, drop the bone down, and then it's just a glass floor all the way across. So you can still see the bone through the glass design. Although if I did that, I'd probably want the white or light gray. The white, you might not see the, the texture of the bone, which kind of defeats the purpose of using it. Um, and I'd still want a border because seeing these things pop up regularly. And maybe that's what I put the fence on top of. But I still do like the idea of moving these guys down. So you're walking into into a uh, 
a more 3D space and a less blah, straight run. Um, yeah, so let's do that. Let's do that instead. Or right, let's do that as well. So no matter what, I'm going to rip these guys up. And then we'll, um, we'll figure out some way to sink this part down a little bit lower. I do not relish all the extra digging. Uh, especially since I'll probably have to switch back over to my fortune axe. Because our cobblestone stores are still a little sad. And we have more smooth stone than we know what to do with. And I want to use the smooth stone for the walls, partly for that reason. I don't want to make it strictly smooth stone. I don't want to make it stone brick, because uh, that, that's just been done to death by me and, and by a lot of people. Uh, so it's not going to be smooth stone walls, but I was actually thinking something like a mix of stone and andesite and either working out a pattern or just randomly dropping them down so they have a, a textured feel but if we're gonna keep with deliberate floor patterns although we're gonna texturize the wood later too so uh, this is one of those six and one half dozen the other type deals um, I want I want to figure out what I want. That's what I know. And I don't know why I'm trying to work all the <laughs> all this out today when I'd already decided that today was not a heavy thinking day. Today was definitely not a heavy thinking day. All right. Um Ooh, that's also an idea. I could replace the bone around the outside with quartz and then do quartz stairs down into the bone under a layer of glass. So that block right there would actually be glass and then below that would be the bone in this texture. And then it would be quartz around the outside edges. Ooh. Ooh, that's an idea. Speaking of quartz, let me go trade for some. Hmm. That's a possibility too. Well, I don't know. I don't, well... I like the idea of the non-uniform floor separating the outer walkway from um, everything else. Ooh, come on. On the ground. There we go. Hi. I heard you have quartz. Why, thank you. You got more for me? No, not yet. Think about things? How about now? Beautiful. And now, beautiful. Okay. Ooh. That's it for emeralds at the moment. No, I still, I still got all those blocks in there. I just got to remember that's what I got. And those guys are tapped out for today. Well, maybe not the guy on the right, but that, that's more work than I want to get into right this second. It's not like tomorrow won't come around. Soon-ish. Soon adjacent? Yeah, soon adjacent. Um, so that begs the question, do I want the bone on the outer walkway or down below? Because I could also do stairs around the perimeter to hide that. And then slabs... And then slabs for the floor. Mm. That's got possibilities too. And then I could actually take uh, two, three. 
get three stairs to drop them down. Let's get our polished stairs. Yeah, something didn't get counted out right. Two, two. Nope, that actually. Or is it because I got three wide and a two wide pattern? <laughs> that might actually be it. Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, do do the do the stairs around the corner. And that'll hide that. Leave the bone on the outer edge. Slab up the middle. So close. I hear a cat. Is there another cat stuck in here? Yeah, there's another cat stuck in here. They get caught in one of the uh, confet. <laughs> you saw nothing. <laughs> All right, so now we're back to if I do okay, if I do slabs at this level. That means the pews are going to stay at the height they're at. And we're not going to get, we're going to get a more subtle 3D effect. Um, or at least a more subtle extra depth to the way the build is set up. Let's try that first. But I think what we're going to end up doing is dropping things down a little bit further than that. And then maybe a glass floor? I know, that seems to be my new uh, season-wide design. My, my solution for every problem. Ah, eh, hide it under glass. <laughs> Needs to look a little more sophisticated. Hide it under glass. But I, yeah, because so I could drop that down to the walkway and then do stairs and bottom slab, bottom slabs layer down. That way we get a little bit more, a little bit more of something. Not sure what, but a little bit more of something. That's got a possibility. And I'll leave those guys up, move the other side down. Okay. All right. I'm liking the way this is shaping up. All right, so let's uh, let's finish collecting the bone blocks here. I feel so bad. Medic brought all those bone blocks for uh, for this project, and I started off using them for the floor, but I like uh, I like how this is coming out. And then maybe we'll we'll do the glass and the 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 glass and the iron bars as our divider. Mostly because I don't want to deal with the red nether brick. I really like the red nether brick. Blick. The red nether brick. But, um... Oh, come on. Let me sleep. It's clearly night. I just don't want to go through... I don't want to go through the trouble that it takes to get that much red nether brick especially for that much wall uh maybe it's something we upgrade later although uh i think arcadius and medic have been hoarding the uh the nether wart that is something that i normally have a decent sized farm going by now and just because i don't have a base i haven't really gotten that built yet um so i might have to borrow from them for that for this project too that's always a possibility I could uh, 
I can go through the nether, and on my way through the nether to Arcadius' old place where there's a lava-based furnace array, I could grab a ton of, uh, a ton of nether rack on the way there and have that set up. That's an option. That's an option. All right. So let me do, yeah, yeah. We got two. I might want one more layer of something. Hmm. I'll think about that one. Let me think about that one, because I still haven't figured out what I'm doing for the front of this thing either. And that's not helping. But I got an inventory full of stuff and I really need to clear that out. Alright, let me drop off all this uh, bone block. Let me uh, find a home for the cat head. Move that there, move that there. Be all sorts of fussy about my inventory. <laughs> And, yeah, we don't need those sea lanterns for the moment. We probably will want to put those back in there later. Um, don't think I've traded today. So, let's do that. Let's... That was more than I wanted. I just wanted a stack. Alright, what's a stack? Another seven? Well, oh, seven's a little short of a stack. There. Let's get those guys put back. Let's uh, run back over to the hall. Visit with the kids in the hall. And uh, see what we can trade out of them. don't think we've done that today. Oh, come on. Let me through the stupid door. How you do? How you do? All right. You ready to... Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's uh, get some more of that. Let's get some more of that. Never considered an overabundance of quartz to be a problem. <laughs> Especially the way we've been building here lately. I mean, we, we've been going through the quartz a lot. Um, not so much in this build. Okay, just double check. Not so much in this build, but... When you figure just how much quartz went into this guy over here, and a lot of it is the smooth quartz, so it had to be baked... Uh, and how much quartz is going into the interior of the garden farm, the garden farm, the guardian farm. Um, yeah. I don't know if I, yeah, I don't know if I want to build, uh, our little temple, temple to the, to get the statues, uh, out of quartz. I was actually thinking about doing that out of oak. Maybe throw down um, the the smooth stone half slabs like you got to have for um, for a statue. Because um, uh, <laughs> last season, last season when I when I put the armor stand, the the book giving statue for the uh, armor stand. Ooh, do I need uh, you know? Let's just take half of that just in case. That's more than I thought. I have a funny feeling that I need even more than that, but anyway. Uh, what am I getting at? Yeah, Reyes is going to want to turn that into smooth stairs too because uh, she doesn't like the line. I kind of like that given that we're going to continue with the line over here anyway. 
so I think sticking with a grid like a hard border on the grid would be a good thing for this project. All the oh. Oh. I'm gonna need more quartz than I thought. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Half a stack doesn't even make it around the bend. Yikes. Okay. So I'm going to be visiting those yahoos a fair bit in the next little while. I think something never enough quartz. Yeah, because we're going to keep a grid-like uh, appearance. Uh, you notice just how off-white the bone blocks are when it's placed next to something like quartz. Maybe I want one more space up in front of the... Uh, front of the front view. Although, honestly, I think I want... Yeah, I want a different design. Because you're not going to be able to walk up to the... Well, maybe down the aisle. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I'll finish the sentence. <laughs> yeah. Whatever I do up to the front, I, I want the front of the pews to be a hard stop, except maybe for the aisle. So I might uh, do some stairs there. I just got to find... What I want to do for a hard stop up at the front that's going to hide that bone texture on the blocks. That's going to make it interesting. All right, how much further around the bend? Come on, hold out supply. And, and I, I should check in community storage because I think we've got some stairs left over from other projects. And oh, okay. Okay, that works. We got a few left over, which I was hoping to avoid, but I guess that's unavoidable. All right, let's drop those in there because we're done with those. And those and dums and those. All right, and then uh, now what are we gonna do? Drop, drop those pews down one more level. I do the half slabs, that's going to keep that looking a little flatter than I want. I know it's not Tuesday. Um, I, I really wasn't feeling the, uh, the games revisited today. Uh, between the tired and the tired and slinging a bunch of tubas and sousaphones into storage... I wasn't feeling I wasn't feeling like uh, the games revisited day today. So uh, it's coffee craft instead. And I'm trying to get a little bit more of a um, something. I, I want to bring where the seating is down a little bit. So you got this walkway around the end, you go down, and then maybe down one more. So... Um... No, 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 not, not the waterlogged stairs. Uh, I want to give it a little more depth to the build. So instead of being a giant plane of the same height, you, you get a little sense of ups and downs in uh, in the flooring. So you'll walk in at this level, you'll walk down to the aisle, and down just a little bit more into the seating. And then you'll look up at the stage. Which I still haven't figured out how big I need to make, which I really ought to do at some point in the very near future. Um, I've been tempted to also uh, make whatever flooring ends up under under here, put that under a layer of glass like at the Guardian Farm, because uh, my ultimate goal is to, to get this a little more mob-proof than it already is. Uh, we've got a fair amount of lighting over here, but it was really hard to find a lighting option that was going to work in this space here. And if I can figure out a way to make it work with uh, half slabs, then we can get enough lighting to maintain the, the aesthetics so it doesn't feel dark and dingy. 
uh, without having to worry about making sure that it is enough light to to uh, keep critters from spawning. That that's the general that's the general idea. And if I do a glass floor. Yeah, um, I, I thought about raising up the seating too. Because you're right, you shouldn't be looking at whoever goes into confession. And, and honestly, if we're keeping it true to real cathedrals and all that sort of stuff, the, the pews are at the same level as the confessionals. Um, it, it just seemed a little bit better to drop the seating down and look up at the stage and have the walkways around. And I really don't want to rebuild these guys again. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that that was uh, that was very much that was very much a concern. Um, and elevating the seating just didn't just didn't feel right. Yeah. All right. So let me uh, let me take out one side. I'm gonna leave the other side where it's at for spacing and placement, because I am happy with where the seating ends up. I just gotta get the uh, elevation correct. Oh, there you are. You can join in if you want to. Uh, uh, I'm on Discord. Because again, I... I, I kind of knew driving home from work today that I wasn't going to do uh, Games Revisited. I just I didn't have the, the mental energy to work on that. Um, and this is a little bit better. Because... I cannot screw up on Illusion of Gaia. If I miss something, there's no going back. If I mess something up here, I can just tear it up and rebuild it again. Alright, I'll hold you to it. So what what design am I going to put down here? And what am I going to use to hide the bone texture up front? Um, those are the two questions that I really need to figure out right now. Because I think that's going to make the biggest change in what happens next. Um, hmm. Well, I could do that. I could go for a design. Yeah, I could dig up two blocks down in the square. Put whatever design with the materials that I want and have glass where these blocks are right now. And then put the pews down on that. That'll lower it slightly. So it's not like you're you're dropping down into the orchestra pit. Um but you'll still get a little bit more variation in in the play. Yeah, all right, I like that. I like that. So I just need to figure out the design and then I'm probably gonna wanna use either light gray or white glass, uh, which means I need to take some of my remaining emeralds and go buy a ton of glass. Come on. No, not like that. All right, let me go. Uh, let me go detour real quick and buy some glass. Oh hush. Is that the white glass? I can't remember if that's the white or the light gray. No, that is the white. All right, so the white, the white might actually be clear enough that uh, that I could work with that. Do we have a lot of white glass already? I feel like we might. And I would be feeling wrong. We don't. Okay. <laughs> let me go. Uh, let me go trade for some glass then. Then I'll start thinking of uh, thinking of some designs. If I'm gonna put it under under glass, that does f open up my block palette choice too. Because uh, with everything that I was thinking of doing here, I was restricted to 
designs that had slabs. And, and there's not enough blocks that have slabs. I, I, I love everything coming in the Nether update. I love a lot of what Mo Yang does. Um, I would desperately appreciate some concrete slabs and maybe some other slabs. Like lots of other slabs. Right, I'm not even going to worry too much about. Uh, that's one of the things we need to do. We need to, in addition to the sign that has the books that they have, we need to figure out some way to signal which one of these guys actually trade glass. Hi. <laughs> I mean, most of them do. There, there's just one or two of them that don't that don't sell the glass. I'm unclear as to why. Okay, sorry. I'll stop. Uh, let's... I'm sure we're going to run through a bunch of this, and if not, I know Reyes is going to end up needing the glass for something or other at some point in the very near future. And maybe, maybe if we have a ton of glass in extra supply, she'll be less inclined to bake the desert. And, uh, because we could really use the sand for concrete. And explosives. Mostly concrete. And right now, sand is still not one of the, uh, renewable resources. Uh, they even took out some of the shenanigans you could use to, uh, to duplicate sand. So... Wow. Wow. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> I mean, sand regenerates and, you know, all that stuff in real life. Why not have it do it in the game? Yeah. Yeah, there, there's that. And, I mean, even if you just added it as a villager trade, like, uh, let, let the masons trade sand. Or, you know, even just give them a, a chance to get a mason that trades sand. Uh, although the mason doesn't quite feel like the right guy. I just, I don't know who, who you'd add a sand trade to. Nobody. Just add a mechanic that every time you take your boots off after you've walked through the desert, you get, you know, five to 20 blocks of sand in your inventory. <laughs> that That's always an option too. I mean, I, I guess, at, I guess at the end of things, um, I've got that data pack that lets you create custom villagers. That That's why we got the one dude that sells our heads and the gems uh, he is a custom villager. And so I could always set up a custom villager that trades for sand. But... I... I, <laughs> I mean, Wait, you keep going down do that road and where do you stop? Exactly. Oh, we'll just make this guy sell, you know, beacons yeah. or, you know, witherheads or... Here, and this guy will sell you dragon eggs and, you know... Yeah, and then it's just a matter of fixing a price on everything, and like, so, uh, how much you want for that? How are you feeling? You're talking like, <laughs> you're tar starting to talk like EA over there. <laughs> Yay, it's in the game. Well, it used to be, now it's in the, uh, expansions, but, yeah. yeah. EA Sports. It's in the microtransactions. <laughs> there you go. That's the one. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Hey. Are you really digging up the floor? Yes. Burying like, you know, some king of old and then putting the floor back so, you know, um, archaeologists have something to do next year or something? I mean, what are we doing here? No, not not quite that bad. Um, okay. I'm trying to create a little more variation in the floor level so it feels a little less plain. Uh, so what I'm thinking of doing is dropping, taking out two blocks worth of the floor, putting some sort of design and then a layer of glass and then, so that way these guys will be sitting where the stone is now. 
Okay. But I, I haven't quite figured out the design part yet. Uh, originally, I was going to try to figure out a design using nothing but uh, white half slabs, but we're the the game is not exactly overflowing in options for white half slabs. So you know you got quartz diorite and diorite <laughs> for white half slabs. And uh, I, I was not I was not liking my options. That's good. Okay, I thought you had bone in here somewhere. Okay, the bone's on the outside now. Yeah, yeah, I'm still keeping the bone on the outside. Um, and I could always do that too and just have the, the quartz border and then another bone design underneath. Have you looked at the quartz border being a... Uh... A solid border instead of the chunky. It's not chunky. It's got grid lines. Because I was I was originally when when I put that down I was going to put um, uh, some sort of pattern and having consistent grid lines across would help kind of tie it all together a little bit more. Mm. Okay. Well. Or at least that was the idea. Whether or not that, that's actually what was achieved is another question entirely. Oh, come on. No, no, I just, I feel like you, you might get a better... Yeah, I know. You and Reyes love the, the smooth quartz stairs. And, and I, I mean, I'm okay with them, but I, I don't... I, I'm not nearly as offended by grid lines as you guys are. But that might be my engineering background, too. Um... She actually doesn't like them as much as I do. They just fit no? in that one little area. Yeah. So I, I remember going over the design for the uh, trading hall, and it was all about getting rid of the line. <laughs> no lines. I mean, second only to no capes. Well, that's a good rule to have, though. What, no capes? Yeah, I mean, yeah. no capes. No capes. It's not good. You get caught in a jet engine, man. That that superhero is gone. <laughs> oh, okay, let me go build a jet engine, and I will get an armor stand guy caught in it by his cape. How about that? That'd be hilarious. <laughs> I want to see how you pull that off, honestly. Uh, by watching zombie Cleo videos and figuring out how she pulled off the cape in that mini uh, from season six. Oh, geez. I think it was something to do with uh, pressure plates, like like layering pressure plates into a uh, sort of elytra. Since you can't put elytra on uh, armor stands, I thought you could. No, no, you can't. Well, then how did she get that elytra on the one in the uh, the tag building? It's not an elytra. Oh, what is it? A bunch of pressure plates. Oh, goodness. Oh, my. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, all, that's all sorts of... That's all the crazy. Um... Maybe I need a beacon with jump boost. I can't get out. <laughs> <laughs> Have you fallen and you can't get up? Oh, there you go. You figured it out. Yeah. Yeah. I knocked out a slab. Um, okay. I might need to trade for more quartz. It's another day, right? That's noon, so I don't know when the last time you were over there was. Although I haven't traded with the Quartz guys in a while, so they should be good anyway. Quartz trades in a while. Yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am inordinately amused by that. I don't know why. I, I just... Maybe get something with a little more, uh, a little more base. <laughs> I 
Now, I, I, what I do need to do is get a better quality recording and uh, something a little bit more scripted. I mean, that, that was kind of the first run, or, or maybe, maybe the vocalizations are right and I just need to get a better recording. Because it very literally was um, the first run of whatever happened to, you know, like... Uh, guess what? That's what I recorded. Done. That kind of deal. All right. Oh. Polished granite, if you please. Oh, I probably didn't need that much. Because I just realized if I'm going to have glass where I'm standing right now, you're going to be able to see this part here. All right, so we'll take that down. Then we'll put some polished granite under there, which you'll be able to see through the glass. Oops, there we go. And do that on the other side. I'll do that on the other side when I dig out the other side. <laughs> let, let me figure out one side first. Um, I should definitely be able to come through here and put quartz under most of that. Although, honestly, nobody's going to see the corner. I'm going to skimp on materials. I'm going to cheat the corner. No, I'm not. I can't do that. I'm physically incapable of doing that. Hmm. Hmm? <laughs> Just laughing at you. Alright, um... And I guess, actually, since I'm... Since I'm... Digging this down a little bit, I could work some sea lanterns into the design. Because I, I I want more lighting, but I want to make sure that I keep it as spawn-proof as possible. Is anyone going to be able to see those quartz blocks? Yes, because it's going to be glass at that level. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not going to put quartz blocks where nobody can see, except in the corners, because I can't cheat the corners. I'm physically incapable of it. Go back behind you, and I'll, I'll make sure they don't stay. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm, I'm perfectly physically capable of not <laughs> wasting materials. <laughs> not wasting materials. It is making sure that it is complete. Hello, Cole. Oop. Come on, let me back out. Mm. Nope, nope, that was the mistake. There we go. I got the bone blocks there. Well, I still haven't figured out what um what I'm gonna do. Let me go get some bone blocks. Oh, <laughs> seriously? No, no, we're not putting cat's head on a pike. Well, it matched the decor. I don't know. No. Hmm. 
And I thought about just repeating the same design that we got on the upper edge under some glass, but I don't I don't like that option either. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Definitely, I definitely want some sea lanterns in there. I want it to be... It needs to fit in with this a little bit more, so definitely some something with a little more white and red. Um, or maybe, maybe the dark oak. Maybe a combination of all that. Let me sleep on it. I am not doing more glazed terracotta. No. No moss. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Maybe the white glazed terracotta? No. No, no, no. <laughs> Oh, is the white glazed terracotta actually white? It's white with a... Um, well, you've got a few ways you can turn it, but one of the ways is like a, a sun and moon kind of design in the middle. But for the most part, okay. it, it's a white design. Hmm. Oh. Golden, like, Philly. It'd be perfect in a Catholic church. Let's put it that way. <laughs> hey, Beach Duck. There, there's no... Actually, we don't have a public pool over here. I mean, there's some lava to swim in right over there, but um, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Even you might find that a little warm. That's not true. There's a pool over there. Why up there? Sure. <laughs> it's not finished yet. But... Yeah, it's flying back out. That's, uh, you know... You know. Yeah, somebody's got to work on uh, finishing up their door. Or fixing their door. Or getting the person who broke their door to fix their door. <laughs> that that seems the more... Uh, Appropriate answer. Because, uh, yeah. yeah. Fixing it's not really an option. <laughs> I have no what idea do you mean? Fixing it's always an option. I mean, for me. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, why should you be different? <laughs> I mean, here I am poking around at things with a pick and trying to figure out what. <laughs> like, I don't know. Let's try it. Nah, let's try it. Nah. Because I definitely, I definitely want something that fits in with the the color palette that we've got going here, with the the brown of the dark oak, the white and gray that we got with the bone and the quartz. Maybe a little bit of the red. Um, I'd ask Beach Duck for some options, but I don't think she knows just how many different colors we've got and what we've got to work with as far as the colors go. Um, Aren't that many colors, so I mean... I mean, I could always use some polished diorite, but that, that doesn't seem right either. I don't think it's bad. Just, I, d I, don't, I don't think that's going to fit. Unless I wanted to drop some uh, diorite in there. Diorite's this white stuff. Uh, well. Looks like bird poo. Yeah. Do I want to add more color into it? Blue. Like, do I really want to throw more, uh, throw some yellow in here? Although, again, well, if we do that, then we can come back to the idea of the white glazed terracotta. And as much as I really do not relish rotating another floor's worth of glazed terracotta, uh, we could work something in with the um, with the designs and some sea lanterns, which would get us a little bit more of the lighting. How does the uh, well, Actually, you know, let me finish clearing this out. We'll get some white glazed terracotta. I've got some more quartz on me, and we can see if we can match up the quartz in the terracotta and find a decent uh, design. Oh, oh, hey. Um, oh, hey? Before I forget again, uh -oh. uh, as far as clerics go, they mm -hmm. all sell glass except the first two. Uh, not clerics. The... the 
Librarians? Yeah, yeah, those guys. Yeah. The ones yeah. on the, uh, um, the left, the right. All but the first two. Okay, so it is just the first two Yahoos that don't sell glass? Yeah. Lazy perms. That they might have to be downsized at a future uh, change. Mm, no, 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 <laughs> no, not those two. No, no, no. They can they can sell and not sell whatever they want. They are perfectly safe. Oh, oh, is it one of them's the mending dude, isn't it? <laughs> no, he's the efficiency five guy. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, so I see a strategy. Be indispensable. That's it. Sell the things that you. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you don't get uh, let go at the, at the next upside <laughs> downsizing. That, that's absolutely correct. <laughs> yeah. All right. I, I see how it is. All right. I guess they'll live Even the another day. Replaceable, but uh, that that uh, efficiency five guy, he's got to stay. Yeah, and, and there's one of those other guys that we keep combining to, uh, uh, which one is it? The sharpness? Yeah, because we've been combining two sharpness fours, and I think that's part of why the, um, that's part of why the, the, some of the stuff has been more expensive than I need it to be, or want it to be, because there's the expense of combining the two sharpnesses. Yeah, no, which... Uh, if we had yeah. more room for a couple more clerics, I, I would I would give it a go at trying to get a sharpness five. But yeah, clerics or is, librarians? I don't want to librarian. Thank you. Jeez, little wee. Oh, don't worry. We're we're gonna have room for more librarians in a minute. Because again, part part of uh, part of what we're getting ready to do is we're gonna expand out uh, our librarian options too. Great googly moogly. We already filled up five double chests and technically then some, given all these shulker boxes. All right. Uh, let's have to throw more uh, shulker boxes at the... Pro oh, white ter white glazed terracotta. That's the whole reason why I came in here, was for white glazed terracotta. Goodness gracious. I'd say there should be tons of it. She just cooked a full shulker somewhere. Yeah, she just cooked up a full shulker. A formerly full shulker. Helped. I had to refill the lava buckets like four times. Yeah. And you know she's not done, right? I just put some more blue dye in her mailbox. Because while I was healing up all my stuff by... Oh, where did all the llamas go? Oh. They're there. I didn't realize that they got moved. What is their they lead time to? pull the cart over there. Underground oh. there. Yeah. So what did, what did you do? Put a fence post under the ground? Uh, the two grass blocks that are directly underneath the gate to the left and the gate to the right is a mm -hmm. fence post. Okay. I'm thinking I might go back in and push the fence post back one or two blocks further, uh, not down, but further under, and try and see if I can't... Maybe just one block, because I'm, I'm trying to get the leads yeah. to look like they connect to that post. Ah, uh, gotcha. Um, without just replacing the uh, the gates, because the gates look appropriate there, where uh, a fence oh yeah, post would, because yeah. a fence post would touch the ground. Yeah. All right. Um. Oh, I need a wrench. Don't get sidetracked. I'll do that later. <laughs> Man, it, today today's today is a random day of randomness. Just. That, that's why that's why I'm doing this and not uh, games revisited because it's gonna be a day full of nothing but randomly randomness all right so this is the space I'm going to fill we might do something with these guys uh, since those are the sea lanterns. We could do a couple of different options. Uh, oop, come on. There we go. So we can maybe work some of these guys in here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Yes, maybe. Well, I don't know, because that's not going to... That's going to look weird. When we do something like that. Nope, I had that right the first time. I like the mix. I just don't... Uh, I'm trying to create a repeatable pattern. Um, it doesn't need, It doesn't even necessarily need to be grid-like. It just needs to be easily repeatable. Um, and I can rotate these guys a little bit differently, too, because we got that design. Uh, we can always do... Design? Yeah. Uh, there we go. So there's that guy there. And I want to say there's one other design that's fairly easy to work in there too. Yeah, but it's not a cube design, it's a line design it's for when you're making like hallway carpets and stuff. Ah. All of them have two basic pictures and a line. And a line? Mm, two pictures well. and a line. Sounds like a really, really bad sitcom. Oh, let me uh, let me put the fortune pick away while we're playing with sea lanterns. <laughs> that would be helpful. That that would be helpful. I mean, it's not like it's not like we're hurting for them, but I don't I don't want to have to. That's more work than I want to do. <laughs> Over there, walk back really. That's a lot of work. That's a lot of work. <sighs> I just. I I mean, I gotta sit there and wait all this time. Actually, so maybe if we do... The thing over there is full. Full by whose standards? Uh, there's at least two double chests over there. Alright. Uh, so that is not quite wide enough to do three full go-rounds like that. One side or the other is going to be off, and I don't know. I, I don't like that. I do not like it, Sam. I am. <laughs> you do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like it over there. I do not like it by the car. I know, I just butchered that one. But... <laughs> And car. Var. All right. Pretty rough. <laughs> so we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wide. Nine wide. Um. You're just lucky Reyes didn't hear that. What? Var. She'd be all over you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. All right, so let's do this then. Let's go get our... Yeah, I like the flower design better. There we go. And then we got a three block... Three block in the middle. A three block design in the middle, unless we do quartz. something something with those I 
and then just kind of repeat this design all the way down. Yeah, no. Of course, Peach Duck is on like a six second delay, so <laughs> I, I'm not exactly sure which yup and nope is which. Um, I like the idea of doing something like that, although I... Okay, so I could... Let's do this. Let's go lanterns. Lanterns. Terracotta. Get our blue design. And then do the same over here. Go lanterns. Lanterns. Terracotta. Oh. Just when I thought, you know, the whole reason why I kind of skipped out on the Guardian Farm is I'm tired of rotating terracotta. <laughs> and then do that all the way across. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. The question is, is do I throw something down the middle to kind of divide it a little bit more? Well, let me count how many blocks I have. If they're evenly divisible by two, then I might keep it just like this. And just run it straight away is down. Blue? What, put something blue down the center line here? One word is not helpful. I do appreciate <laughs> the help, but one word is not helpful. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> uh, that, that might be a little too much texture. Uh, oh, now now we're switching to one letter? Oh, okay, okay. I see, I see how it is. Uh, what about blue concrete? Uh, it's going to be brighter. Actually, no. I think it's darker. Uh, we could color. try blue uh, blue concrete. We could try straight blue terracotta instead of the glazed terracotta. Um, and maybe blue wool? There you go. Concrete's on the floor. Oh, okay. Let me grab some blue wool while we're at it. Oh. Oh, that's not blue, though. Yeah. No. Yeah. I still gotta work on. I I gotta work on that. That that might be my weekend project, because that blue terracotta does not look blue. Not even no. a little bit. Uh, I I hate that everything else is most definitely like oh that's blue. Um, don't you don't you go messing around with our terracottas? They're like that for a reason. <laughs> sure. Okay, we can go with that. I mean, think about it. You've already got this dark tan coloring, and all you're doing is tossing, you know, paint on it. It's not going to oh. come out to... You just gave me one blue blue. concrete? Oh, we had it in here. Surely oh, we got... Oh, oh, no. Reyes doesn't have a chance to make a lot of blue concrete. No. So watch. That'll look best. <laughs> Oh no, there's two blue concrete I can have. <laughs> alright, alright. Let, let me let me try the uh, blue concrete and the blue wool. The blue wool might work. It, it's a little more textured than I want, but that, that could work. Oh, I could just throw more sea lanterns at the problem too. Nobody ever said there's too much lighting. Cause that that that's a little too that's a little too textured. The blocks of lapis. Um, and that's not. I think the lapis is no. better than that. Yeah. Yeah. That that, that that's that's a no go. And a pain to pick back up. Uh, 
Uh. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. We're not going solid gold on this thing. I don't know. It looks good. No. Uh, yeah, maybe the yellow it. concrete. Maybe the yellow concrete. Uh, is the yellow terracotta actually yellow? Or or is it no, another one of those it's, it's sadly terracotta. not quite? Huh? No. No, it's, it's terracotta. No. It's, it's never going <laughs> to... I don't know. I think the gold looks pretty close. No. We're, we're not going solid gold on this. Hey, I don't want to gather that much gold. Um, I have it, and I don't mind donating to the project, but um, I can tell you you're only doing lines of it. You're not going to do the entire floor in it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> hey, 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 give my gold back if you don't want it. <laughs> There's your gold. <laughs> that stuff's not cheap, let's, dog. <laughs> let's ride the gold train. <laughs> And we could always just uh, do that, too. Keep the quartz borders going. Uh, yeah. You can so, smooth them out so we don't have as um, horrible uh, a gridding pattern on it. Yeah, but I mean, the whole thing is a grid. No, the whole thing is a floor. Hang on. Uh, <laughs> Because we can also do a little bit of that to cut down. That would actually net us uh, two and then two. And then we can start filling in our. And then start filling in our terracotta. I don't know which there you go is the beach duck. You're on a delay. We're already <laughs> six to eight seconds in the future. Considering it took her this long to reply, I'm guessing it's whatever you've done now. Yes, but it's also beach duck typing. Oh, that's true. Should have been done an hour ago. Oh, it's nighttime. Uh, one of us needs to sleep before somebody comes and explosively redecorates for us. Uh, Jibba's on my bed, though, so... <laughs> he's always on the bed. Well, he's always on the bed in the game. He is never on the bed not in the game. Yeah, I kind of like that. That might work. Now here's the question. Do I have enough room going that way? To have this design look good, because do I want to move everything forward one block? So that way I've got this design starting here. Yes, I do. I mean, I don't want you have to. have to do that without it running into the wall up front. Well, and that that is uh, that is the concern that I'm I, I am deeply considering. On the other hand, um, I've got room to move the front further forward front. Okay. There there can okay, be more look, front and front. Look. No, no. See, that's how. <laughs> that's look, how look, we, we run we, into problems. Look, we've already expanded like the wall three times. I, I, I have you know. I have learned from my uncle. We can always move that front wall back just another no, couple of feet. That is not, that and is not how this works. <laughs> <laughs> that is not how this works. That is exactly how this works. <laughs> <laughs> I, my family knows how knows how this goes. You can always move the wall just a little bit further forward. No, no, no. See. That's why there's like 40. See, even Beach Duck agrees with me. On. <laughs> so it's going to be what? Three of those yeah, guys there. One in there. One in there. And then I'll start out. Uh, yeah. And then I'll go fix everything else back up. Oops. That's one too far. 
Um, no, no, which, what was in that spot? Oh, the wrench was in that spot. Yeah, we can, we can always move that wall back. It'll be easy. I got this. Alright, so then we're gonna get our two lanterns there. One more lantern there, and there, and there, and there. I probably am going to run out of lanterns here soon, too. So I will have to head over to the Guardian Farm. Hey, lanterns, you can buy those from the, uh... I'm going. What, sea lanterns? No, you said lanterns. There's a difference. No, sea lanterns. You can't buy those. Well, I mean, we could always set up a custom trade. Like, like have the... Have the one guy that has the random everything else. Like, we just had this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> we did. We did. There we go. Like a so. Like a so. And oh my soul. We're going to be rotating terracotta for ages again. And to think, Reyes made an entire base like this last season. Walls and walls of black terracotta rotated to just the right design. On one side, and then she got mad because it wasn't right on the outside. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. And we got one there. We got one there. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Nothing. Oh. <laughs> um. I. I. No. 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 I. I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that that much. But honestly. No. 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 Um. Leave. Uh, oh. Oh. Don't go. Not that far. <laughs> If we, oh, oh, never mind. All right, I was going to say just for the little, like, three by three cross, but then they're going to run into each other. Yeah, that's what I was doing was the crosses, but you'd have to yeah. do them all the way down. Yeah. Just to have the flavor. Then again, you could do that with gold if you wanted a different flavor. No. But what about just that center block there? Um, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just got the, that, that little flare of emerald in the corner, you know? So it's not I mean, completely you know. a, a unbroken straight line all the way down. Gold or blue? Well, maybe we just do a block of lapis in there. Because too much of it next to each other just does not look right. Oh, uh, here, these are your emeralds anyway, so there you go. <laughs> oh, did you take them out of my mailbox? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, uh, I see how see. it is. All right. Uh, Let me go grab my wallet. I got some gold and some lapis. Hold on. Uh, I just put two blue lapis blocks in there, and now we'll wait eight seconds or so for uh, Beach Duck to reply. Um, the the lapis might be a little dark, though. Ooh, I got. Do you have any more quartz out here somewhere? Um, Let me how have much? One more? piece of quartz from you. Just one. Toss me one. Just one. Uh, three. Toss me three. Okay. Uh oh. Um, or are you gonna make a? Uh, ooh. Yeah, it is too dark. Oh, you have options now. We got we got two more options for you. Hold on. Did you already do the lapis for? Yeah, we did the lapis. Lapis isn't good. Um. 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 
We could do the gold. Four. We also got the yellow concrete. That is way too dark. Um, not just way too dark, but way too flat. Like everything else has, has a texture or is bright, and that that's just kind of. Well, I mean, it's concrete. It's flat. So, so far, her her uh, her vote is gold over there. What does she think of that? Yeah, and, and the other thing I was thinking of is, uh, hang on, I got some stairs around here somewhere. Um, let's. Uh, no. Oh, she. You know, she can't see if you walk away, right? Yeah, I know. I know. Because <laughs> I, I was getting ready to do something. Because uh, whatever we put in there, if we go. And do that. <laughs> or maybe the other way around. So that way the, the stair the top of the stair side is off. No. I an idea. I got an idea. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> is that what the last hour of this is going to be? I got an idea. I got an idea. No, no. Or are you going to waterlog those stairs now? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a bucket. Um, okay. <laughs> but if do. we do you that. It, hang, hang on. Because uh, if we do that, we got to hide the those guys there. Hide what? Where? Oh, those. Okay. Yeah. I need more water. Dude, where's my water? All right. Well, while while you're working on that part, I'm going to I'm going to keep working on the part that we are sure about. And uh do you, uh Oh, I hear Jebo rattling his collar. Like he is some poor neglected thing. How's that? Actually, let me uh, get a little more elevation without dying. There we go. Uh, we might have to wait until we waterlog more of the stairs to get a better feel for that. I don't like it. No, I don't like for I don't I don't like how much we can see of the lantern here. Oh, from the side. Yeah, let's put down the uh, the blocks again. Let me get a nap before uh, our demolitions expert makes a surprise appearance. Sneak deck. Plus 2d6 frustration. <laughs> and actually, oh, and Medic has uh, finalized that he is doing the... Uh... The, the what? The Don't druid. There you go. Ah, okay. For sure this time? I thought the last one was finalized too. Yeah, he was trying to build that cleric off of Eberron rules. Ah, uh, okay. And he couldn't find a deity in uh, Faerun that would uh, make it. He's so how much of that chiseled? Or I can't tell. Uh, no, she hasn't replied. Okay. No, she hasn't replied yet. Because she's only typing one-handed. How much chiseled quartz have you uh, put together? Uh-oh. Just those three pieces. Okay. You handed me those three, so I did those three. Did I bring more sealanders? I did not bring more sealand. Uh, I got another stack in here somewhere. 
smooth quartz or not. Alright, I'm done with that for the moment. Let me, oh, that's not what I wanted. Let me get rid of that, and that, and that, and those, and these, and those, and those, and those. Alright, and I need... No, I do have my other stack of sea lanterns. Never mind. Yeah, we noticed you're a little behind. We, we started playing a little bit more with some other designs, too. Like using the uh, chiseled quartz over there. Uh, we tried... We tried a couple other things, too. Gold. Yeah. Um... Did we throw a sea lantern in there? Like, just, is that the answer to everything? Throw more sea lanterns? No. It's not the answer. Honestly, I think I mean, sometimes the sea answer. lantern here. Sea lantern is, like, way clashy. <laughs> Alright, in the meantime, try to get some more of this laid down. Yeah, the print is nice. I kind of wish that there was a print that worked well in that um, cross section, but I don't think that I don't think any of the terracotta that would fit color-wise will fit um, print-wise in that kind of a corner. Yeah, so that's with the uh, that's with the gold, like literal gold. Like we had to go mug some zombie pigment for that gold. Matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that's exactly where he got it from. Well, no. No, not at all. No? Not at I've all? I've been gutting a mess up, so... Oh. Oh, yeah, you do tend to get a uh, a lot of gold, gold ore. Come on, duck. Any day now. Not sure if it's good or not. Okay. Well, let's okay. switch it back to the chiseled quartz and see if that's any any better on the eye. Nope. I only have three, so you'll have to get the rest. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's definitely not the chiseled quartz. It's got to be something. Um, not polished diorite. That's too. That's too noisy. Uh, not the bone. That's a little too off-white. What other white blocks do we have? White terracotta, but that's going to be fleshy nah, that's color. not white. Yeah, that, that's a little too tan, peach, something. Basically, it's bleached terracotta. Well. They clearly didn't use enough bleach. What? You can use the magenta glaze and just have an arrow pointed forward so everyone knows <laughs> that you're supposed to be looking at the preacher. <laughs> Please look forward. Please direct your attention to the front of the... <laughs> um, there is a... Uh... Oh, too bad the print could not be in yellow? Well, there are a couple other glazed terracotta designs. Um, so we've got these guys. They've got the two designs in blue and yellow. And there's that design, which I like a little bit better than the other one. The other one is a uh, sun. Um, it, it looks like a little Mr. Sunshine. Uh, let me go. Let me go run over to the storage and kind of point out the other terracotta that we got. Although, again, I, I do, I want to make sure that it doesn't not fit, if that makes sense. Stop with the arrows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, there's a brown design. You could have a dark church and use the black one. Well, we've already got the brown for the uh, the dark oak. So, what are... <laughs> that 
is almost perfect. There we go. He's <laughs> Sierra's all day. So we could do this instead. We get a few more. Oh, we could do this instead and put on a soul sand at the intersection. No, that wouldn't look right either. <laughs> that would actually be kind of wrong. <laughs> okay, not kind of wrong. That would be a lot wrong. Yeah, no. No. That's a negative. Nope. <laughs> Give me the brown tire out of box. Why do I suddenly have red tire out of my inventory? Picking it up while I'm trying to put it down. <laughs> uh, but the red feels a little much. Yeah, but you can't tell me some gaudy church wouldn't have that on the carpet on the floor. That doesn't, that, that's not, that's not helping. No, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't like that there's an incomplete circle on either side. Uh, yeah. Okay. Unless you do um, it in that direction. I thought, nah, uh, no. No, 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 no. That, that's not going to work. Nope. Oh. <laughs> we can go full on blaze and orange terracotta. Uh, no, we're not putting fish in the church. That just doesn't seem. No. Or we're not going to go Holy Mother Hawaiian shirt, Batman. How about that? Uh, I've seen it's so the much church black to the Enderman. Uh, oh, yeah. oh. I thought it was nighttime. Is that no for the uh, Holy Mother Hawaiian orange terracotta or for the black? Because I, I think the contrast is just a little too heavy with the black and all the white that we have in the build. Why we just rip all the white out? No. What, you, you're willing to move the wall 42 times but not pull up the flooring? No. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, the blue looks like the bottom of a pool. Oh, what about the light blue? I don't know. It's been a while since I looked at the light blue. There you go. Oh, oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, yeah, the light blue. Um, That is a little abstract. Uh, well, right now it is. You need to flip it around some. I just dropped it on the floor. Well, that's the yellow. But actually, you know, yeah, flip that do. around the other way. The other way? Yeah. Put this corner in the middle. Like that? No, put this, this, where I'm facing, put that in the middle. I, I, I don't see. Stop, right there, like that one. Yep. There you go. Hmm. Maybe. Is it nighttime yet? It feels like it should be nighttime. There we go. You always want it to be nighttime. <laughs> Um, we're, we're, we're missing a yellow and orangish block. Probably. The honey blocks. Oh, goodness. It's going to be under glass anyway, so it's not like you got to worry about jumping and all that. Uh, we could try the honeycomb blocks, and we could try the regular honey blocks. Not like we don't have a ton of it. Yeah, exactly. And then, because with all the glazed terracotta, you, you still got to worry about the direction it's facing. Um, and that that is the problem, is that I we kind of like the 
the white glazed terracotta where it's at. But everything else is just not quite fitting right. So, let's, uh, no, that's not what I meant to do. We we're looking for a yellow block that we could fit in there, and the gold was a bit too, too much bling. Um, the concrete was too flat and dark. The air, seriously, you left the arrows there? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> it was a while ago, I don't remember. <laughs> Uh, we could throw those guys in there, but that that seems a little too that seems a little too busy. Too busy. It seems like you didn't clean the floor. Yeah, yeah, that that's a nope. Um, now, if you use the whole thing, it could look like a carpet, but yeah, we're not using enough of it. Well. It, do you need the lanterns? If this is going to be a glass floor, nothing's going to spawn here anyway. Uh, nothing's going to spawn there, yes. However, comma. Um, if, uh, what if we just did it as a strip down the side? Or down the middle there? Now it just looks like you miscounted and you had to throw something in the middle. Well, I mean, I did just have to throw something in the middle. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, no! I, I do want I want more light in the middle. Um, but yeah, that's not it. Uh, that's definitely not it. Okay. I feel kind of bad that the honey block is such an ugly, stinking block. I mean, it, it just doesn't. I don't know. Unless you're trying to build a model beehive, it doesn't seem to really fit in much. I mean, maybe kind of, sort of, as a 70s wallpaper type deal, but even then, not not so much. I find it better used as carpet, honestly. Oh. That's about the only use I can find for it. We got the honey there. Although that seems a little dark too. That doesn't quite seem to fit. Mm, no. No, nice idea. Or do we pull the polished granite for the intersection there? Since we already got the polished granite off in the off on the side anyway. Because again, that because we got the quartz that's around the trim. Um, almost. <laughs> mm. Try the quartz or the the granite. Yeah. I feel like we need to just redesign the floor. Instead of hassling with this, we need to just go back to the start. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's almost there. It, it it's like we're just missing that one that one last design element. What about the smooth stone? I just like your go-to for anything. Need a pastel. It needs oh, a pastel. I tried to put the arrow in there. No. <laughs> That's a negative Ghost Rider. <laughs> um. Uh, did we try the blue concrete with this design here? Or was that the previous one? Which one? What color? 
the concrete. I think it was too flat. You're going to have that same issue with any of them. Yeah. Oh, I know. We're, we, we, we forgot the arrow. Yeah. Yeah, too dark. Oh, light blue. Ooh. Light blue would probably actually match the circles. It might. Do we have light blue, light blue concrete? I don't know. Because <laughs> I think it's all the blue, the blue stuff that Reyes never got around to building yet. I shouldn't say never get around to building. She was, it certainly blue, wasn't for lack of uh, trying. Uh, we could yeah, also I got, try. I got the blue. I got the light blue concrete. Yeah. Um. Those are options too. It's. it's um, might might be okay. Well, I think it's a little too dark. <laughs> I mean, it matches. Yeah, yeah. The late, the late blue, late blue concrete is a uh, is a possibility. Uh, we could also do cyan. Ooh, goodness gracious, no! That looks like a burnt out sea lantern. Somebody needs to go change the lanterns. <laughs> so, <laughs> wait, wait, which one's not that bad? The one on the left that he just picked up or the one on the right? Because uh, I, I, I am leaning towards the light blue concrete. Oh, hey, hey hang on. We, we haven't gotten the feedback yet. And I wanted to try one other in the middle there, too. Um, and maybe throw in cyan terracotta. Or is that... That is way too dark. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, the light blue concrete? All right, let's do the light blue concrete. Okay. Well, I have one thing I want to check and see what she thinks of oh. while she's standing there. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh oh. Uh, where is the pattern? Right here. Oh. I don't have enough. <laughs> <laughs> Egg <nebbit. laughs> Oh, put the quartz in the center. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we can try that. Either way, we we're going to need a, a bunch more. of light blue concrete. Ugh, goodness gracious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not paid enough for this. <laughs> that you're about to get all the clerics you need. Come on now. I don't even need clerics. You're the one that wants the clerics. <laughs> oh, okay. It, it, truth be told, Reyes is the one that wants the clerics. <laughs> uh, oh, goodness. All right. Let's pack that up. Let's pack that up for the moment. And let's clear some of this out of here. Uh, so we're definitely not using any diorite. We'll keep the granite handy, especially since we need to replace a little bit of that floor. Keep the glass handy, because I'm going to need that. The bone blocks, because I'm going to need that. We won't need the honey locks. Um, don't, don't, uh, don't ask where the Siamese cat head came from. Um, those are our rows of pews. Right, or hold up. What? Too busy with the. Blue? Oh, I, I think your four concrete around the uh, center is too busy. Ah, okay. And a size, cyan terracotta. We're keeping the quartz. I'll keep the chiseled quartz on me. Um, so we'll get. Blue wool. Uh, yeah, get all that Let's out of the way. see what she thinks of this. Oh, hang on. Um. You gonna sleep? Ooh. Oh. Somebody. 
It's nighttime. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it's dark. And, and I do not, I do not need a demolitions expert to come by and uh, inspect my work. And I got the other light blue concrete that you're looking for. Oh, the powder. Yeah. This is concrete. This is concrete powder. And I just made yeah. two stacks of concrete powder, so. Yeah, because we're going to need that either way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I mean, it's a little fuzzy looking. It's but... a little fuzzy. I don't know. I don't know that it's a bad fuzzy. What, what do you think, Beach Duck? On the left, we've got the concrete powder, which has a little more texture to it. And it's definitely a little bit lighter. Uh, on the right, we've got the concrete. Like, it's been hardened. Like the arteries of a southerner. It's been hardened. Not sure. Not sure? Uh, well, let's finish this out. We'll put... Uh, put the powder in all these because if we need to if we need to change it over to concrete we just dump some water on it and I was about to say let's make both sides and then make concrete on one side and powder on the other and we'll let the rest of the, uh, Here, the light toss in. me a uh, toss me a stack of the powder or uh, just half a stack because I don't I don't need that much why did you toss me all it Are you seriously emptying your inventory at me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't even. I. I don't even. Okay, I don't either. <laughs> All right, and that goes there. That goes there, and there. These those numbs and theirs. I'm gonna start spinning this around. So is this what a manager feels like? So what? Sitting there watching? I mean, we we can get Medicon to watch as well and get the full, you know, government job experience. Two managers, a manager watching the manager while the person actually does the work. <laughs> Man, these pews are uh, hard. Need to work on that next. Yeah, I, well, until we can figure out how to drape carpet across. Um, stairs although somebody put it together a data pack for that that, that I, I saw I thought it was kind of interesting it lets you run the carpet level with the stairs and slabs so if you wanted to have like a, a carpeted walkway yep is in the powder all right I think this is the winner Uh, do me a favor, since you're sitting there supervising, um, the, the, grab some of the spare bone blocks and the white glass, or, or the clear glass, and make enough white glass to cover this section. Mm. Okay, when the next employee gets here, I'll, uh, I'll make sure they get on that. Oh, go, Jeff, go by <laughs> Never mind, you're looking at me like it's time for dinner or something. Uh, it is. It's eight something. No, it's almost time for dinner. Almost is not time for dinner. I mean, he thinks it's time, but he thought it was time since eight thirty-one in the morning. There we go. 
Uh... Oh, are you kidding me? <sighs> One block. One block. Alright, I guess we're just pushing everything back a little bit more. That's the way this works. We're one block short, so we're pushing everything back a few more blocks. Now the room's not too big. It's clearly not big enough. your shenanigans. It is a problem. You need help. Yeah. Yeah. So alright. I need one, two. Yeah, I just need to push it three more blocks back. That that's not that bad. I refuse. You need to shrink the church down to here. This is what needs to happen. Nope, 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 nope. Three more <laughs> blocks. No. Look, look, I, I'm already two thirds blocks. of the way there. I'm already two thirds of the way there. <laughs> Three more blocks. Mental breakdown. The rest of his life, that's all you could say was three more blocks. <laughs> Problem is, I also need more sea lanterns. I'm out. Wait, I'm not. See, I'm not doing it. This is a, this is a cycle. It's a never-ending cycle. Oh, fine. First I'll go to my lighting. Back, then I, it's, I, I need more lanterns. Then it's. <laughs> sure. I, I think I got more. I think I got more lanterns in my box. Dude, returning the rest. <laughs> ah, nope, nope. Ah, uh, mm. I got it. See, see, more collecting. <laughs> I know where I can get some more lanterns. Crack attic. Okay, I got this. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Overshot the door. No, I, I swear, it's just... I'm just gonna add this mud room, and then it's all done. I promise. person that has to clean the floor. Uh, oh look, I got a stack already <laughs> ready, and I got some more around quartz and around over here. Around and, go, huh? Yep, beautiful. Sweet. Done. No, the motor room comment was... was more for Beach Duck. She knows exactly what I'm talking about. Ooh, ooh. black ink. I mean, squids. No, I said that right the first time. I just wish I had my looting sword on me. Isn't that the sword you have on you? I don't have any sword on me. I needed the inventory space. What? Every time I'm building, I need more space than I, you know, so I keep a bow and arrow so I can keep the, uh, Demolitions experts away. You like the squids? I think Reyes likes the squids too, but she prefers. Well, she game. likes the squids for the ink. Let, let's be honest. It's not so much that she likes the squids; she likes the ink that the squids provide. Well, the problem is this amount of inventory space. That's the same amount of inventory space they've had for forever. So it would be really nice if Mo Yang could kindly give us just a little more inventory space. <laughs> you 
you left? Oh no, that's right. Uh, a certain puppy's got to be fed. It's that time. The time has come, Java said, to feed me many things. Those are going to need to be replaced. Those are going to need to be replaced. Uh, I need... Polished granite. Some slabs to sleep. Yeah, I think... Now, the, the <laughs> when I initially when I initially decided that I was going to do this instead of games revisited, my original idea was to finish the walls and the windows. I did not expect to get caught in a three and a half hour odyssey of uh, decorating the floor. I like it. I mean, came out nice. Don't don't hear what I'm not saying. But this is this is not what I. Uh, this is not, oh. Where did the zombie come from? I slept in time. Um, wait, let's not let his sacrifice go to waste. Of course, that means that there's a zombie. There, there's got to be a creeper around here somewhere. Hello? Did you log off with the glass with you, or did you put it in the box? <sighs> Kidding. Okay. Awesome. All right, and then I'll just have to push those guys back. I'll bring this out a little bit more, but um, I really should call it a night. I will in just a minute. I needed one more of those guys to go there. And then that can go there, that can go there. Let me go dump a bunch of this in my inventory, not in the box. Some more of that. <laughs> yeah, just a few more. Just a few more. Just a little more. I promise it'll be enough. Oh, I almost forgot. The actual seats. Actually, since I pushed that forward, that means I'm probably going to need a few more uh, spruce stairs, too. Do I have any more spruce in here? Oh, more spruce stairs. There we go. Sweet. figure out what I'm going to do about that front. And instead of continuing the bone block design like this, I might do something a little different. So I'll wrap the bone blocks down the side, have something different for the front here. That way when you're looking forward, you don't see the uh, little round dots of the end. All right, these are what, six wide? One, two, three, four, five, six wide. All right, and there one block in from here. So we'll go like so. Two, three, four, five, six. And then like so. Two, three, four, five, six. 
two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. And then it'll be just a matter of repeating the design on on the other side. Although, do I really want two blocks space over here and only one over there? Yes, I do. No, I'd already decided that before. <laughs> well, the seats were always going to go over here. That was always part of this. You gotta have somewhere for people to sit. I should probably put something on the end, on the ends of the, oh, no, oh, quick. Mm. Too close. So we had enough room for it to add one more row. And then I'll maybe move this up a half slab. Have them sit on the floor. <laughs> I mean, seriously, if we're if we're if we're being honest, I don't need all the pews. I just need the back three rows. Extend that out just one more. Just one more block, I promise. Come on. <laughs> Stack the chairs again on the back wall. There we go. I like that better. Because that feels centered. I like that it's centered. Yeah, much better. Much better. Much, much better. And I'm okay with having two, two empty spaces in the front because that was part of the original design anyway. One, two. <laughs> I like that. That works. That works nicely. Um... Got it. It's 8.30 already. Mm. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I'll get a janitor in here. I'll spawn an iron golem and name tag him janitor. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even want to think of who's going to clean all the scuffs off the glass floor. Like, th this has got to be worse than a gym. <laughs> oh, no, no. I know what I can do. I can get one of those pillagers and, and get him to uh, break his crossbow. You know, use one of those pacified pillagers and let just let him run around in here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I got the two, I got the two in the back, the two in the front. Everything fits in, centered, centered, nice and beautiful. Uh, so I'm gonna do this on the other side. I'm still not a hundred percent certain what I'm gonna do for the divider. Um, this part with the iron bars and the red, red glass is growing on me. Um, because that that is kind of nice. Straight red, red glass is too much. But uh, spacing that out helps. I, I, although I, I'd want more than two panes of red glass in there. Um, I personally would rather put the fence posts in, but I don't like the way I don't like the way that they don't connect. Um, <laughs> put the. <laughs> 
<laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Um, I keep trying to work with the banners and it's just not happening. So I, I don't, I, I'm going to give up on that design. Uh, I really, really like the red nether brick. I like the red nether brick too much, but I so don't want to do the kind of work that it takes to make enough red nether brick wall to run down the sides. But I really like that red nether brick. That 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 seems to fit nicely. I might need to go pillage somebody's supply of uh, nether wart because I haven't set up my farm yet. <laughs> the, the chairs are staying where they're at. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Medic has been farming that stuff pretty steady. I, I might have to. I might have to pillage his supply. Um, I hate doing that. I, I I hate pillaging for people. I haven't I haven't made enough farms. I gotta make some more farms. Maybe I'll make a giant tower of uh nether wart. Big honk of nether wart farm in the community center. All right, I'm rambling again, and I I actually made a decent. <laughs> Yeah, I, I kind of figured that was part of it, too. All right, so I like this. Um, so it's either going to be this with the glass and the iron bars or that with the brick. And as much as I keep saying no, I, I don't know. Although, um, with, the, with the update that will be out sometime relatively soon, we'll have polished granite wall... Or is it just granite wall? I can't remember. Uh, no, it, yes, the update is will be out Tuesday, though I won't believe that till it's actually released. And even then... Oh, for a second there, I thought there was a llama head sitting on the shelf over here, and I was like, seriously, who who did that? Um, and we're not installing the update until I know it's stable. Because, uh, yeah. Oh. Do I start the granite here? No, no, no. no okay. I, I, if I do that, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep one more. One more thing. One more thing. And why do the cats keep getting stuck in the confessionals? Like, do they know they're evil and they're trying to repent? I, I don't. I don't even. All right. This is still progress. I like that. It's not what I set out to do, but I like that. I, I had set out to figure out what I'm going to do above the wood on the inside wall. Um, and I keep thinking of some sort of uh, patchwork mix of the andesite and stone. Um, just to, to give it a, a low-key texture. A low-key texture. But uh, I, I guess that'll be another day. Yeah, I think when I publish this, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna rename it because I I had titled it Windows and Walls, but I didn't do a bit of the windows that are gonna go here and in the middle and on the other side. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right, let me go find a safe place to uh, park myself, and then I'll do my outro. I love how we got this random, random floating glass hut. I mean, I'm the one that put it there, so that's the way that farm stays active. All right, uh, this is where I slide on over to. Come on, where? Oh, there we go. All my buttons moved. Okay. <laughs> All right, so this is where I wrap things up and say thank you. Uh, sorry it's not the normal games revisited. Uh, just it was one of those days. You could tell by the rambling and the AD, AD, the uh, very, very... Uh, it's not just a deficit of attention. It's like a, a desert of attention, a barren wasteland of attention and focus. And that is why I didn't do games revisited. 
Um, so whether you're, whether you're here for the Games Revisit, whether you're here for the Coffee Craft, whether you're here for all of it, if you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you'll get notified when I go live. I stream almost every Tuesday and Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. Normally, Coffee Craft is on Tuesdays and Games Revisited is on Thursdays. If you follow on Twitter, you'll you'll get notified that uh, uh, that those things might change. And if you haven't already, subscribe on YouTube. That way, you'll know when new episodes, live stream archives, and all this stuff gets posted. And uh, if you're already watching this on YouTube, I'm not going to belabor that whole, you know, smash that like button, yada, yada, bells, yada, yada. You know how that works. And lastly, uh, if you really want to help, uh, if you're getting some value out of the show, be it entertainment or knowledge or both, hopefully both, the, the goal is both, um, consider supporting the show. Live.anonjunior.com will take you to over the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate. There's no set amount on there because this is strictly a value for value proposition. Just wh- whatever whatever you think is worth what you're getting, even if it's just a fresh cup of coffee. Um, so that's it. Have fun. Enjoy. This is where I'm going to uh, sign off and say I'll see you next time. <laughs>